<clears throat> this is precisely why 95% of golfers cannot strike their irons with any deal of success consistently. Hi everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Get Good at Golf. On this channel we aim to help you get good at golf just one day at a time. Today we're going to talk you through why so many golfers around the world can't strike their irons well consistently and it's something which in lessons and playing pro-ams I see so often, I know Chris sees so often, and it can affect actually every club in the bag. You see, one of the big issues that I see, first of all, is ball position and ball location in relation to your body. First of all, we have to have an air of consistency with this because if you start hitting golf shots on the golf course, we have to know exactly where that ball is. If you start moving this around all the time, a bit of sand footwork there, but if you start moving this around, then you're going to have to make different golf swings. That's going to be very, very difficult. So the first thing I see is ball position too far back or too far forwards. Now, this is something which generally is consistent for people because they feel at home with it, but it's going to affect massively your angle of attack. So if I see a ball position that's too far back, we're generally going to have a really steep angle of attack. And you may think, well, James, that sounded really good. It sounded like you struck it well, but you see how low that came out and you'll see it's gone nowhere near the target. On the other hand, if we have a ball position that's too far forwards, so this is almost like a driver ball position, but I see people play this with their irons. You think, well, I've got the handle forward, so it should be okay. I make a swing, that angle of attack's way too shallow. You see how now high that ball's gone. Again, we've not got the distance. It was online to manage to manipulate the club face, but again, it's not a well-struck shot. It's not going very far. If we have the ball nice and central, especially with, I've got an eight iron here, I'm going to have that handle forward and then just work on the rotation to get a well-struck golf shot. Oh, it could be the one, Chris. It's just fading a little bit, but you see the difference there in strike. You see the difference in ball speed and in distance. We're now hitting the green as opposed to missing it. Another issue which we see with ball position is ball distance from your feet. So if you're stood too far away, you'll see how that affects posture. We might have to, again, reach out for this. And a lot of people will think, well, it doesn't really matter. As long as I get fitted for my irons and the lie angle's correct, then I'm gonna be able to hit them. But it's also gonna massively affect your dynamic posture as well. So we have static posture, which is at address, but dynamic posture through the golf swing. If you were to then make a swing, you might stand up and out of here and then trying to return that club to the same place becomes very, very difficult. I actually tried to hit that ball then as well. Also, if you stood too close, you're gonna stand really, really tall. There's no way you would ever stand like this because you can't move the club. So stood really, really tall, and then you're gonna try and a shot that has to have a massive chicken wing in order to be able to release that club. But what we want here really is a routine to make sure that the ball is in the right place. Losing posture can be really, really bad. It can also cause injuries. So if we get a routine where we think, right, I want to have my feet shoulder width apart. I also want to have a nice little hinge from the hips and be athletic in the knees. This is nothing new. We've spoken through this on Get Good at Golf before, but also then I just want my arms to hang down from where I've tilted my hips from. I don't want to be reaching out. I don't want them inverted, kind of touching my thighs here. Just let them hang. And from there, that is where I want to have the golf club. So you can see if I do that, I would actually have been stood too close to that ball and present the hosel to it, which nobody wants to do. So I'll do that again. I'll stand a little bit further back, go through the same process. Make sure you have the correct angle here. Make sure you're not going too far over or too tall. Let the arms hang, put the club in. And you can see there now that that is about right for where I want to be. Ball position is just forward of centre because I've got an eight iron. And from there, I can just make a nice swing and hit a pretty good strike towards that flag. Guys, Chris is now going to give you a drill to help you with ball striking because he is the drill master. Welcome back to the Alignment Stick channel. We're talking alignment sticks again. So we want a drill. Obviously, we want something to set you up. So James made a good point there. It always makes good points. A good point there of obviously what you want to do, you need a routine of how you are going to set up. Again, when you go to the driving range, guys, we want you to practice. You can do this with two golf clubs, nice and easy. We want you to have set up for your alignment and for your ball position. So nicely there, I've got my alignment, so I can then make sure that I'm square to my target, or depending on what kind of shot shape you hit. I've got that so it's bang on my feet and then in the middle is to make sure that my club is centered and I'm actually getting that ball position just in front of center. Again, what we can also see, if you are somebody who sets up with your hands back, we're going to see that alignment stick. If we're covering it, 
we know that it's neutral. What we want to see is that your hands are just ever so slightly ahead of the golf ball. So as I look down, I can just see the yellow alignment stick. So that's getting us into a nice, strong position. Hands just ahead of your zipper. And that's, again, just presetting a little bit. You spent forward. too long in America. Zipper. What would you call it? fly. Right. In front of your fly. So, gets you in a nice, strong position to start with. Once you've done this, you can practice this over and over again on the driving range, be consistent. Again, you'll start to find that you'll have set places on your alignment sixes down for your alignment where you'll have your stance. We're going to get gradually wider as we go through the bag. But for an eight iron, shoulder width apart, ball position is good, hands a little bit forwards, and then I can just swing, get through to my finish. What a player. And we can start to see that that's going to help us get the ball started online. Obviously, we can't take that onto the golf course, but if we do this a lot, if we do it through your club, so if it's a wedge, we're going to get that ball position probably just back of centre. The stance is going to get narrower, but each time I can get into that position where if this was a wedge, I now could make a three-quarter swing and be nice and consistent. This is an eight iron, but still, we're going to be able to do that with all your clubs. The same with the driver. We can get that further forward. We might just roll this back so it's at the right distance for us hitting our longest club. But on the golf course, we can't use that, unfortunately. So what we want, like James said, is a routine. So we want a routine when we're on the golf course. So James went through it where you would stand there, obviously, bend from the waist, let your arms hang but you're probably not going to do that on the golf course. That's something you're going to do on the driving range. That's something where you're going to get used to it when you're using the alignment stick. But you don't want to be that guy who gets there, rest your club on your leg, get a little bit of don't knee bend, let your arms hang, and Keith behind is not happy. Keith. So, is Keith playing with Barry? Keith's playing with Barry, so not a duo you want to get in front of. So what we would do, if I had a ball in here now, which you'd hope you'd have on a golf course, is nice and easy, like we would, stand behind the ball, pick your target line. We're going to come and plant the face first, get that square to your target with one hand on the golf club. And then we're going to build your stance from here. So we're going to go a little bit out with the right, a little bit out with the left. And we then know the ball position is going to be consistent. It's very unlikely that you're going to stand there and go, right, a little step with the right, and a little step with the left. Somebody might, but hopefully it's not you. So. Feet together, right hand on the club only, little step, little step, and then we just let these hang nice and easy, and we're in. And we can hit, hopefully, a green if I get a good bounce. Oh, bunker, not great. But guys, that's a routine, that's something you can do, so practice with your alignment sticks on the driving range, then on the golf course, get that routine of setting your club first, build your stance, and then we'll be able to be a bit more consistent with our irons and get better at golf. So guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. The channel's called Get Good At Golf, mate. <laughs>